How you going, Gemini? We're going to do you a spiritual message. I hope you're all happy and healthy. Um, we're pretty much going to get started straight into it now and see what comes out for your energy. Let's see that we basically shuffle the cards. We split the deck. We shuffle it that way. And this time we're going to use one deck for your reading and then clarify at the end so we can see. All right, let's go. Yeah, you completing things out no longer serve you. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, yeah, whatever it is, there has to be something that you've either walked away from, completed out, um, ended, something's gone down, see it's sunk here in the background, but you're walking towards that light when you get to it, success, beautiful. Um, but whether it's like walking away, pulling your energy back, um, doing you, whatever it is, it's, it's beautiful because it's bringing you towards success. She hasn't walked away for no reason, she's walking straight towards success, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I want to, she's looking straight up, so we'll have a look what's in the crown. But it's generally beautiful in your in your in your energy. Yeah, she's looking straight up at all the things that you complete now. You've completed out a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worries, a lot of things like that that have been on your mind. You've had a lot of like a lot of things that have weighed down on your mind. If that makes sense, you can see in the background it's like a bed. If that makes sense, it's like sleepless nights. A lot of things that have played on your mind. It's also in the thoughts of the reading and the crown of the reading. So it does show a lot of things have been playing on your mind. You might have just walked away from a relationship, but you didn't walk away from more, or a friend, family, lover, colleague, some sort of connection there um, in some sort of way, whether it's ended, okay, just naturally, or whether it was a tower moment. We'll go into that in a second. Um, I'll put them here as we go through. But physically, you're walking towards success at the present moment, so don't allow anything to play on your mind, okay? In the past energy is the first card, okay, in the crown is divine judgment. Spirit knows your heart motives to be true, so that's beautiful. Okay, you're having a lot of self-realization as you step forward to complete these things out and walk towards that, and that's magnificent, but the past has to be receiving divine judgment. Okay, you've completed out to finish line to the past energies there from the past there because your boss energy walking towards your wish fulfillment or something. But yeah, they're receiving divine judgment. You have to have physically completed about it because there's the ending and there's the finish line. Yeah, something stabbed you in the back. It hurt you, put you down big time painful crisis, but it has been completed out. All right, they will be receiving divine judgment because that's the first card for their energies. Like I said, I'm using one deck card for your reading today. But that's uh, basically very strong at the present moment, aren't you? To complete out whatever relationship that was because she's strengthened in, in you locking your cups away at the present moment to sit on the solid foundation. Yeah, leading forward from the past who deceived you. Look, past who deceived you. Look how sneaky that is. That type of energy. Yeah, you're releasing any burdens though and with pure strength to step forward. Whatever it is, man, whatever's in your pure energy at the present moment, it's like bringing you towards success because the world's there. It's completing things that no longer serve you for the new journey. Yeah, the past is in regret. The divine blessing has been offered. They will, um, as we can see here, um, we've got divine judgment coupled with in their energies, as you'll see it's posed by their energies. Uh, when we go near their energies, explaining... Um, the divine blessing has already been offered. As you see the hand there with the astral light's already been offered, but the card next to it, as you see the card next to it, means it's completed out now. So they may be looking back into the past to um, address things at the present moment. They may have been wearing false masks. Okay, we'll go into the past in a second there. Uh, but whatever it is, they're in regret. That's 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 a, It's generally, it can be classified as a spoiled brat, I suppose the best way to say that. So the best way to say it is they will be regretting the judgment that's been casted upon them. Because you walk, yeah, you've walked away. Whatever it was, it was a lot of baggage and a lot of you see, have a look here in the opposing energies to the cards. See, so you release the baggage and walked on. See the baggage and walk towards that sun. See the light up there, and that's bringing it towards fruition. They don't like the fact that you can release baggage like that. They don't like the fact that you have fruition. They don't like the fact that they're receiving divine judgment, and they don't like the fact that you can complete things out and be so strong and still step forward. Okay, because now the baggage is here. Yeah, it's a learning curve towards the past. Might have been a lot of broken promises, um, lies, slander, gossip, uh, rumors. That was the baggage, possibly. Um, it was a learning curve because you can see the light bulb is in the past energies in itself. So it shows it was a learning curve around whatever love that was, whatever love, friends, family, lover, colleague, whatever that was. In itself, it is a collective dream for Gemini. 
whatever you're walking towards though is definitely success because we can see the lights just straight up on that success to clear that mindset up okay from all the mental jousting all the fighting and conflicts and things that you've been through that have played on that mindset that somebody from the past is receiving divine judgment for as we step forward in the reading all right let's go into the uh we're going to do the world energy first and then we're going to the past It's, it's seven seven okay seven seven might be relevant to somebody in your world at the present moment it might lead you to a sign of synchronicities you got to understand seven plus seven is 14 plus the extra seven is the 21 so that's temperance so 14 is uh the victory and movement okay so it puts emphasis to the victory and movement for growth okay and the victory within temperance in who are you protecting your energy within your world and trusting your gut feelings they're leading towards your ascension within growth hasn't been easy that's why you're protecting it with the hands there and the hand has already been offered if that makes sense and there's a light bulb moment there for somebody but you can definitely see you're very protected in your world very very spiritually protected you have dynamic energy okay because there's a the dynamic energy and the past opposes that energy they don't like it Okay, they don't like the fact that you're protecting your energy and they don't definitely don't like the fact that you're growing continuously. Yeah, you're the divine blessing. The divine blessing's already fucking been offered. Here we go. In the world. See, in your current energies, this is what they're in regret about. The baggage they put into your life. They're juggling some sort of thoughts, whether they're even getting divine judgment, but it's an enlightenment, I suppose, for yourself around the fact that... Um, this person has put so much bullshit into your life and they're a child too by the way before we get into their energies we can see the friends family lover yeah in this friends family lover whatever it was here okay uh, the divine blessings already been offered see it's the only cup with the astral light they were too busy looking at silly things as we sit here whether well, they they're stuck in the past shadows of their other relationships before that they didn't complete that per the right way uh whether they were just looking at silly things whether they were just thinking about it let's see the tree in the background's a little bit blurry it can show the thing uh, the fact that they were thinking about other thoughts if that makes sense it, they possibly couldn't have seen growth there or something like that or they may have been thinking a lot about growth but for some reason it's looking straight back into the past as you're completing it the divine blessing these two cards here is uh, the divine blessing is like completing things out and that's you and that's magnificent and the only archetype we've got here at the present moment is the page of swords which shows like these are lessons major lessons in themselves in itself uh to complete things out see the tens to complete things out is it's a learning curve yeah and there's a completion as well but they're major lessons the only archetype we've got here is the page energy of the sword so it is a learning curve from all of that it is a learning curve for you to trust your intuition and allow your soul to be free from any anything that plays on the mind see the soul is free to put anything that plays on that mind if that makes sense because the point of judgment has been laid for somebody from the past because that's the past energies there but here are the divine blessings see the ace of cups there there that's the ace of cups is protecting this world so you are protecting the world card if that makes sense so the divine blessing in that card which counteracts to the world is protecting the world at the present moment so the divine blessing in the world energies is protecting your world and protecting your growth so that's beautiful and that's strong and that's strength and that's magnificent because it shows it there thoroughly. Okay, what we're gonna do is we go into the past now. Yeah, you've been spiritually guided away. It was a very, very sad time in that stage, but you are coming towards the, the beach there. And so from the three of cups, whatever three cups that is, that's the three cups there in itself. Yeah, it was a very, very, very sad time at that present, that, that, that time, wasn't it? And so, so there's the sadness of all the gray there from the friends, family, lovers, the three, these three cups here. Right there in the middle it shows the past energies you know you addressing the shadows the divine blessing and sometimes spirits see the astral light in that cup won't allow them to see the divine blessing they'll just whether they'll um whether they'll wallow in more pity whether they'll manipulate it more whether they'll like you're dealing with somebody a little bit childish here in itself they're still learning lessons in themselves see there's massive amounts of lessons here that you've completed out they are receiving divine judgment but we can see this it's a big lesson there man because look there's the one two three one two three of cups so it's right there literally it was a big it was a very very sad time you could have been dealing with a uh a water sign a cancer Pisces, scorpio it's a lot of water here or the fact that you've got to understand it's a lot of emotion here you you've walked away from all this see all this emotion here 
Yeah, well, that's all the water. That's the emotion of that ocean, if that makes sense, or the lake or whatever you want to call it. It's, you're walking away from that emotion and you've been spiritually guided. See all the water there to just trust your thoughts and step towards the right direction to where you've got to go in life in order to get things to fruition, in order to make things happen as you step forward. Underlining energies to the past. Broken heart, big time. Thanks, spirit. Big time broken heart. You have stepped through. You are beating to your own drum. And that's clarity is the transformation for the phoenix to rise is beautiful. And that's success. And that's magnificent. But somebody has to be spiritually, being spiritually judged at the present moment for playing with your mindset. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the heart and then go into the world. Uh, go into the future. When somebody's getting justice, man, you've got judgment in the mindset and justice for playing with your heart, man. I never want to know why I said that. I was looking at the mindset of you, if that makes sense. So somebody's receiving divine judgment for playing on your mind and the justice is for your heart. Does it make sense? The justice will help you grow. 711 may mean, mean something to somebody, okay? Um, but whatever it is, you're definitely dealing with some two-faced people in the past who've got something coming for them. In itself, okay, it's counteracted under the deck here, but um, into itself, some sort of lover or some sort of connection, there's some communication for somebody is receiving justice at the present moment and judgments on their side as well. So it shows they are being spiritually judged for the manipulation on the mindset, and it's a childish energy. Yeah, you are, you have taught, you have grown so much. It's not funny. Growth is in your mindset. Growth is in you protecting your energy, and growth is in the archetype here from the past is receiving justice. See, it's past energy, but for the future, it's like you're stepping towards. See, she's got a hand on the stop sign. You won't allow anybody to. It keeps coming back to the hands. See all the hands here. There's the hand on the stop sign. You know, you won't allow anybody to look down upon you. You won't allow anybody's in three energies who still got a lot of lessons to learn because the three here while you're completing things out and spirit knows your heart motives to be true and you're the page learning as you step towards that world with fruition to release baggage i can't wait to see what comes out here but it's for growth not only for your mindset but for your heart she's poised she's elegant she's the wounded she's not the wounded warrior she's the um healer you're a you're a beautiful healer type of energy if that makes sense that's why she's growth from the mindset the queen of uh, cups is more um intuitive intelligence she's growth of that healer and healer and it's growth within uh, balance leading forward and it also shows um authenticity leading forward within your heart um being very very authentic especially co-creating with spirit in order to step forward in order to bring in these things to fruition with victories by the way and wish fulfillment victories and wish fulfillment for the ten of pentacles as we split the deck, which is beautiful, okay? Because we're about to go into the hopes. So we need all those before we do the future part. Man, that's the part. Judgment and justice for the past. That's a very, very sad time. And it does show why it's been sad and why everything's played on that mindset. And temperance coming into your hopes with wish fulfillment. And an abundant new beginning for the divine blessing straight under that as well, because you co-create with spirit from the ace to the three there to give the four. Yeah, they don't like it. The part, the, 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 well, I'll just explain it in a second. All right, these are your hopes. All right, it's beautiful. As we step towards the future, these come into fruition, which is magnificent, but it's what you're hoping for. You're hoping for wish fulfillment. See, she's jumping for all the, the joy. Okay, but it's the sun. See, it's something about walking towards this sun, that sun, sun in your energy. So it shows walking towards that uh, balance of masculine to feminine, yin and yang energy, because that's what it is. It's hoping for that as the temperance angel sits over you to keep you in the Goldilocks zone of life, if that makes sense, which brings you in wish fulfillment. So you're jumping for joy to embrace your wish fulfillment and your hopes when it comes in, because I can see it there. You just growing because you can see you're growing in your world for the seven of pentacles so pause and reflect on your growth that you're protecting for the divine blessing but then we've grown so much in our heart you know divine judgment has been laid for the mindset okay um it shows you beautiful like you may have been just your thoughts alone because somebody was so vindictive so rude so before we even get into the next lot of cards that i explain it you could have been denying somebody the total and complete true essence of this world of experience in your world just because somebody's vindictive, cold, manipulative, and they put shit into your mind that you didn't need. You want somebody to build you up, buttercup, as you step towards your future until you're good, until you're beautiful. And that's what the, it's not so much that you need that, that's external validation, but it's nice to hear that you're putting in the effort. But you're putting in the effort here from a six, if that makes sense. Somebody who's still got to go through these things, you could have put a, put a, put a lot of effort into somebody who would have never seen 
continue as a divine blessing because the divine blessing was hidden that's for sure from these three cups here because yeah, they're too busy looking at silly things but it's for your completion so you can we can see what comes out here into the future but that's what you're hoping for and that's beautiful in your hopes to get stepping forward with success to get bring these things to fruition and that's magnificent because that's success in wish fulfillment if that makes sense to keep balance in order to have the temperance angel come in and to bring in that abundance there of good news for the divine blessing who co-creates with spirit while you're protecting your energy and growth around protection, by the way, as the past receives their karma, but it's dharma for your energy as you step forward because we've got balance here in the justice card and then we've got balance here in harmony. So balance in authenticity of your heart, but that brings authenticity towards your temperance. That's why you have uh, judgment laid. So it's like the past will regret any type of judgment or any type of manipulation they put into your heart leading forward or into your world because it's the divine in yourself you want to keep learning the lessons you want to walk away from the shit and, and step towards the right journeys know damn well that's not good for you and see what's in the future then that's that's it's called a leap of faith and that's beautiful all right what we're going to do now is we've got to have a look at the future so let's have a look at the quick quick put the overlining underlining energies to the future um and then we can uh, put the over under uh, overlining underlining energies down because it's a bit different with one deck of cards and then i'll do the readings here and then We'll do the outcome. Yeah, you give and receive to the universe. It's a six. You give and receive to the universe on your journey with affinity. Anything's possible. Success is coming in as long as you just keep being exactly who you are. And that beautiful, it's like success is being pulled straight towards you. That if this present moment and your friends, family, lover, whoever this was, where it's a learning curve that you've walked away from, ended, something's ended out there, completed with that. They will be in regret when they see this as it comes through and you can trust the divine inspiration. So that's them, if that makes sense there. You can trust your divine inspiration that it'll play on their mind or something, whatever lover that was in the past there, friends, family, lover, colleague. Okay, but whatever it is, they will see it because it's about to jump for joy. Yeah, because it's going to be abundant in itself. So they will see your abundance in your and your, your abundance and success leading forward, which is beautiful. Okay, because there it is. You give and receive to the universe with your abundance something about the hands yeah and in the hands is the abundance you can't see his hand in this one as i say it because that is the abundance if that makes sense as you give and receive that helps you plan for your world see the ancestral dots around the window she's planning for the world and all these things as she protects her energy and releases anything to have the right perspective towards moving forward let's have a look at the um underlining energies for the tops and then step forward it released something from the past because you couldn't plan there for the past. There was no abundance there. That's why the perspective has changed. That was very, very cold, very, very selfish and very, very lazy. Okay. Or just whether they were purse proud or whether they were um, just, it's like helping somebody when somebody's looking very vindictive type of energy this is communication for somebody we'll get to that in a second that you're healing from and uh, stepping forward with introspection uh, you might be meditating a lot you might be very very extremely spiritual in that type of energy waiting forward whatever it is is bringing towards wish fulfillment okay that's beautiful that top row is magnificent it shows you are waiting for your ships to come in and that is communication your heart is magnificent we don't want to allow anything to play on that mind that's why spirit is saying heal as we step forward with the overlying energies to the whole reading now um, in order to bring that abundance in which is magnificent but when it comes in it's your perspective towards enlightenment okay your heart is very very protected very 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 protected Okay, um, some of you may have pulled on your heartstrings or something. It could have been a Pisces, could have been a uh, Virgo. It's definitely, it's definitely like these are unforeseen. That's air sign in general, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's definitely your learning curve. It's definitely your reading, and it's healing in itself too. And it's massive amounts of introspection, and it's beautiful in itself. Right, let's have a look at the past quickly because we want to address those things there and then see what's going on and then jump into the future. A lot of deception, man. It came out when we started at the start there from friends, family, or lovers that you've been divinely guided away from as it's a learning curve from the seven to the seven to the seven for the divine blessing to uh, see. Yeah, it's been completed out. Those two cards came out. Remember we split it. This, this card came out with that card at the start when we were talking about it. Yeah, your level of ascension is magnificent. It's beautiful. It's leading you towards massive amounts of growth. 
Yeah, but you've just you've come through a lot of deception, a lot of trickster energy, a lot of just of course you would be completing anything out from anything of this past to step forward with good communication. Okay, because there's the manipulation of that devil. Okay, let's stop the abundance. That's what I mean. There's the abu there's the baggage. This person put baggage into your life you didn't need. Okay, there's the deception that played on the mind. Okay, you can see it that they're receiving a divine judgment for in the past energies, friends, family, or lovers. That like you've got a blessing coming for them from the Alpha to the Omega. You give and receive to the universe, so you deserve it, and and they deserve their karma for playing with your heart. And there's the manipulation. We can see the manipulation of this devil here. It plays on the mind. Let's see the hands. Whether it's codependency or something like that, something around the hands. Yeah, so something around those hands. Let's just step forward. Yeah, you're waiting on the horizon for these things to come in. Yeah, far out. Your abundance is you. There is options coming, okay? There is options coming big time. Okay, that is magnificent. You're successfully completing things out that no longer serve you. You are stepping on your horizon. You know your dreams weren't big enough, big enough in the past there. You know those ships are gonna come in because there's the ship. There's, oh, you can't even see the ship, no way they've done it. There's the ship that's coming in in the background. There's the ship sailing in. There's all the deception you've gone through to embrace who you are. See this, mirrors out. All the things you've gone through, all the manipulation of those illusions of another seven of this growth. There's so much growth in your reading because there's the seed that gives you your growth from the alpha to the omega to grow. So start planning for your future from the two to the three here. You dealt with, definitely dealt with a lot of fighting in the past there and conflict. Yeah, trap that mindset. That's what it means. It's been a leap of faith taken and it was sheer determination too, by the way. However, that's the past, all right? The past energies are only there to guide us to who we are. All right, the past didn't regret for their manipulation, and if they're not, they will be one day because they can see it over there. All right. But the best part about it is your future. So let's have a look see at the future. The deception's gone, which is magnificent. They will be receiving, the first card is coupled with deception. They will be receiving karma for their deception. This is one deck we're using today to make sure that it's all coming out right. And there you can trust your intuition on that and take the higher perspective towards your choices leading forward because that's your level of ascension yeah, towards manifesting exactly what you want with this success. This is beautiful because it skips the fool. The fool's got the brand new journey because you've successfully completed it out. The best part about this world card here is in this deck for this, just this one deck, it says the next step after the fool, the next step, the journey is the fool. Uh, the next step after the world, the world, next step, the fool. Okay, so it does show that. Now you have good news coming because you give and receive to the universe, which is magnificent, and that's fantastic. But somebody from the past, as we go back to the past, who is in regret, who will regret their judgment when it comes around for, for the justice that's coming. They won't lock that karma when it comes in because the next card is coupled with the manipulation from that devil. So it explains why. And there's clarity for somebody, the truth, the clarity, amen to that. But in itself, it's the steps, the journey that you have gone to get the enlightenment, to have that come in for yourself, okay? Very poor, very elegant, very like a lot of strength, but it's clarity to them receiving their karma. So if you're looking for the karma read, then you're pretty much going to get it there with just that alone. But Spirit says, just kind of there, yeah. Yeah, you just pay attention to the signs leading forward. They're taking this. You'll get to that motorbike, but you've got to pay attention to the signs leading forward. Because there's all those signs in the background there. See all the signs? I don't know if you can even see that. Like chemistry or something like that. Somebody's receiving karma, man, for playing with your energy. You've completed it out. They have to be the same geometry, sacred geometries, and the exact same sacred geometries in the same cards. It's also the runes there in that order. But yeah, there's clarity there for that, okay? Because the next card is the abundance that's coming in for this 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 um, abundance that's coming in that you give and receive for. Yeah, they stabbed you in the back, it's completed. So it's abundant future because that's completed now. With the 10 of swords, that's finished. So you're able to enjoy the new journey when it comes in, which is fantastic. Knowing your worth and stability within yourself and purity of thought. Okay, you did come from a big level up, didn't you? Yeah, to get to that fucking light and a lot of illusions from this manipulation of the past here to be able to step towards who you are as a soul, completing things out from the past love. You might be lucky the cups away leading forward, okay, but it's only she's sitting on her solid foundation, paying attention to the signs and synchronicities leading forward, and she can see them up there in the in the um, corner of it. Whatever it is, it's abundant to have completed that out because it's comp completed with abundance, if that makes sense, coupled with clarity for you to get the good news leading forward with this card here. 
yeah, for the abundance, man. Whatever it is, it's sheer determination to come in. Okay, put barriers in place. The emperor has land, and he puts uh, land, uh, controls it with authority. And you can see he's sitting on Mars. So it's taking you're taking action into your world to not allow anything to stab you in the back. That's clarity and truth and victory within that. As you release anything, as you step towards that abundance, you give and receive to the universe. So as you meditate so much, and that's beautiful, and heal and pamper yourself, and take that level of ascension here within this hermit, which brings you down to the enlightenment, the nine to the 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 hangman, their process. The, you don't just get to the world without getting through these things and so and that's beautiful because you are releasing these things okay with sheer determination by the way you're sitting on mars and that's action that's willpower and i split the deck again before and and i showed this again underneath here right and it showed me the knight of swords now that's drive and determination in the way of sprinting towards it okay and then he's sitting on mars in determination does it make sense they tried to ostracize you and leave you out the cold, whoever this was, but you grab the key, you open that door. Behind that door is the light. You step onto the light with the five to the three here. It gives the eight. So you are working through these things and stepping towards it. And that's beautiful because there's the eight. The three plus the five, you're being ostracized in the past there. They're receiving karma for that. The best part about you not being ostracized, leaving to the future because the five to the six there shows you are not going to ostracize. The ace plus this five, the six here along that journey there, along that thing there in order to get to that wish fulfillment there as it comes straight through you literally see it definitely completed so look look how gray this card is between the family friends and lovers that's completed out here unforeseen uh into itself as it steps through you can even see the three fucking cups right there as they're looking back okay as you complete things out to step forward okay and it brings you towards wish fulfillment in abundance i can't wait to see what's in that outcome okay but it's you stepping on the horizon to not allow these things to step to push you out of push you out of alignment because of that level up you've taken some sort of massive and mass these two cards we shuffled the cards We've had two cards come out. We've shuffled it maybe five times since then, and they've come out exactly the same. The level up in your ascension is beautiful as you step towards the light. Now, the ding came out for the signs for people there in the background there, if you, uh, channeling in the background uh, into itself. Um, from all the illusions and shit, see the moon? The moon, the, all the illusions you've gone through. Or to step towards that level of ascension, you're not ostracizing yourself out because the next card's coupled with the empress. So emperor to the empress, by the way, to complete things out, to have that masculine feminine version of yourself that we're talking about here for that wish fulfillment. But in itself, you've got some sort of love coming, okay? It's if you don't want love, you have free will. Just do the messages as they come out. That's why we're using one deck. And there is love coming, man. There it is there. And it's successful love at that. Look, right, we'll come back to that in a second. Um, if it's not love, you're just wearing your heart on your sleeve, stepping forward with vulnerability. Step, see, he's got his heart on his sleeve. If we take all the cards together, heart on his sleeve, purity of thought vulnerability is they're naked the masculine and feminine version but that's a vulnerability to spirit so you can have your success because there's the wreath of that world to successfully complete things out with spirit's hands in the background there clapping see your ancestors and stuff so it does show that this love is coming into completion here coming to into into you if that makes sense not into you, but it's coming to you. In the future, part of the reason it's coming in, right? To counteract that one card here, we've got the love, we've got it coming in, and it's the, the it goes the distance. That's not a not of, um, not of pentacles. But when it comes in, don't ostracize yourself out. Any lover from the past is um getting, any any lover from the past who ostracized the empress out, is, is where you have to step on the journey, is receiving deception in their life. They have to with the manipulation. This devil, everybody likes to talk about the devil. This devil will manipulate them quicker than it fucking manipulate you like you know what I mean like everyone wants to talk about oh I made a deal with the devil did this did this you can make a deal with the devil as much as they want but it's the devil always shit and piss all over them quicker than it will piss all over you if that makes sense uh, into itself it's magnificent because of the whole future is centered, on, centered around you getting the love which is magnificent and success in that but Stepping forward, uh, the completion is to you to complete that um, mental jousting out. Stepping forward and healing just to heal that part out so it comes into play. And then the love comes in, but it's balancing itself and it's gross. It's coupled with the Empress in itself, see? And then the next card will give us the foundation. So in theory, the next card will give us clarity to what I just said in theory, if that makes sense. And there's a key to love coming, which is magnificent. There's your two of cups, man. There's your love. There's clarity to the love meant for the masculine, feminine version of yourself, which is beautiful, but it's real love, man. We've got empress to an emperor. The things of the past only taught you to be the emperor, so you can embrace yourself to put barriers in place leading forward for the divine soul when they come in. Now, there's the divine soul when it comes in. There's a connection. There's the love, and there's it not uh, ostracizing you, putting you out, and there's clarity, okay, for the king up here, the, the divine abundant soul, if that makes sense, because you're very abundant in your energy, and you definitely not going to ostracize yourself out leaving leaving yourself out because the next card is around the option and options that do come in 
it's not usually one usually many many of them especially when you're the empress you will attract that light and look at her she's literally completing things out look it's even the same colors on the empress there to complete that shit out look how fucking happy she is yeah in love when this option comes in uh, you might have to lock your cuffs away but look you, look what you're going to do you're going to come along you know, you're not ostracize yourself because you know you deserve the good luck you give and receive to the universe. So that's fair. The phoenix should rise, right? She's sitting on that solid foundation, the archetype, the queen, yeah? The rest are all lessons in itself. But we've got the queen here. What are you going to be doing in that situation? You're not going to ostracize yourself out because the key to love is there. But you are going to sit on that solid foundation, knowing your worth, having your hand on that sword of justice. The sword of justice is right here. It's in your heart, so you can protect your heart. See, just got halfway out, halfway to heal. It's the justice there in stabbing. Um, harm will heal you in itself. But you're paying attention to those cautions in the caution flags. That's why the caution flags are right at the top there, the blue. Okay, you can see that the orange of that, those cautions when they come in, of orange flags and the, and the cautions that are looking for the red flag, yeah, and making sure that the things that lead towards that love is exactly where it's supposed to put you in your life because you have morals, you have integrity, and you're a beautiful person. And that is magnificent because it's not only that, it's an air sign in general. So it shows it is your future, it is your learning curve, and it is these things coming to fruition, which is magnificent. And you will sit on that, sit on that solid, solid foundation because the story leading to her, so there's your boundaries, there's the love when it comes in, there's your boundaries to make sure it won't stab you in the back, there's the clarity to lead towards this last card I put down when the love comes in that's fated to come in, that you don't ostracize yourself out because now that's the whole past, now we get to have a look. Yeah, trust your intuition that it's coming. It's the very, very divine connection, spiritual into itself. Okay, that's magnificent. But it's of course the reflection you put out, and that's the rebirth coming back around. Okay, see the phoenix. We keep talking about you, which is the phoenix who rises from its ashes, which is the death, rebirth, and transformation, which is the butterfly. You can see there's the, uh, the nest of the phoenix, if that makes sense. See the quills of the phoenix as it burns up. It leaves the quills there. Just a little tiny taste to let people know just before it comes back out. Rises, flaps its wings, and starts spreading straight towards its future but it hasn't come easy the light you have to embrace that light to lead forward see the lights in the back there see the light here in this card as an intuitive reader look it's the light straight towards you yeah and there's the light in the past you address the things of the past to allow these ships when they come in to be healing for your introspection as you step towards yourself as a soul and that's magnificent but at the present moment you're wiggling in your big toe and that's magnificent and that's success for somebody because you know your worth. That's what I mean. It's the outcome now. It's what the whole thing's around. It's your success. It's leading. Well, you haven't just walked away from a lot of baggage here and a lot of illusions in the past and deception and manipulation to lead yourself towards nothing. You are literally walking towards success here and the baggage is now in the past behind that card and the past do not like it as they received their divine judgment. They wanted to manipulate and that's how it works because you cannot do that. That's why there's judgment there, manipulation there and karma in between the judgment and justice. Don't play with your energy. It's, it's, it's the best way to say that because you know your worth and you are a divine soul underneath the deck but there's a sheer determination of you getting exactly what you want because of your strength you will not be a sacrifice you do wear your heart on your sleeve and that heart is protected the case protected by the justice there infinity is what you're manifesting but it's it's harmony you see the here's the temperance angel right how many sitting in the in between the Goldilocks zones of the illusions of the past and the suns that lead you towards the future but knows their lessons. There's the Goldilocks zones, not too hot, not too cold. That's right, yeah? But nobody's going to make you a sacrifice. But you also understand those sacrifices of the past that you had to make, whether they're good, whether they're bad, they go in harmony for your future hopes because it will lead you towards that fierce serenity, serenity, strength, lion heart and ferociousness and strength of a pure hearted soul this is major in itself. And there's the arcana of the sheer and determination and strength to get to that motorbike there because there's the arcana there's the major arcana there's the ar fuck me man how many readings have I done Eight. there's the soul on the journey the night which is the archetype and there's the lesson does it make sense but it's been a long lesson okay nobody's going to make you a sacrifice because you know your worth which will help you on your journey to get to where you've got to go which is beautiful okay 
and that's magnificent because it's leading you towards this is the outcome of the reading it's leading you towards that success that you're walking towards knowing your worth will lead you towards balance in the future of balanced children family growth mindset uh this is um pentacles it's the ten of pentacles in that it's the sun to shine a new day see the sun but in that's the family tree of the kabbalah the overviewing high perspective or kids it's domestic animals so it does show a family there and stability in a family okay as we go through here but it also shows um knowing your worth between the masculine and feminine because if you're not looking for love i can see the center, the center of your future is centered around love okay but if you're not looking for love that would be the masculine feminine version of yourself but in it's money in itself that's why they're all standing around like that and so there's one more card to go down and trust in your intuition that'll bring it in yeah you're the fool on the journey baby you're the fool on the journey the first and last card the first and last card that goes down there now to make sure everything stays on camera. But the overlining energy now, after we put that down, it goes down to here. The overlining energy to the whole reading is you getting a brand spanking new beginning in wish fulfillment underneath it because your connection is so beautiful to spirit and that's purity in heart and that's magnificent because there is all the sacred geometries that I was talking about, which is in that card, which is also in the good fate coming forward. Okay, in wish fulfillment. Let's put the deck one more time for all the illusions you've had to go from the past. Like, there's some the empress and there's the mermaid in the water and she's uh, the divine embodiment of the mermaid which is the empress looking up at all these illusions and addressing these shadows becoming growth and that's beautiful but you can understand the overlying energies is a brand spanking new beginning because you complete things out that no longer serve you now like i said in your current energy at the present moment you are completing things out but like i said when it comes around to the world the next step is a fool for a new journey okay the past won't like that but you can see in the outcome it comes in with stability happiness positivity and if it's not a family you're looking for it's not love you're looking for then that in the center of it would be some sort of abundant spiritual inheritance it can be a spiritual inheritance spiritual abundance but the main thing is around you knowing your worth and getting your stability as it steps in from the four to the four and having your introspection the past will be in regret for playing around with your fucking energy okay and now what we're going to do is clarify with a completely different deck and that like i said we're just going to use two decks and just say we'll just say if anything comes out multiple times over it's double emphasis let alone quadruple emphasis on it what we're doing is two different decks and it's pretty much the past is in regret for the illusions they put into your life okay and underneath that is the family friends or lovers the three of cups is a brand new fucking deck yeah yeah the lovers family friends or lovers okay and they also will see the love when it comes into the future okay you've completed things out which is magnificent but it was your choice you're in a rock and a hard place style mates things in the past but the choices out of the past are only leading you towards that success underneath the deck is because it was so heartbreaking in the past wasn't it yeah and that's why it completed out with the finish line of the four of wands um the baggage of the past of these illusions here is only leading you towards that uh, sun there which is magnificent but it was a hell of a lot of baggage wasn't it and that's why spirit's asking you to heal leading forward in case we've got your back underneath it's your victory leading forward no matter what we do it's going to get that ten of pentacles in the outcome so you can see that now see how the reading's done now we can clarify um whatever it is you're walking towards that sun and that sun is pretty fucking beautiful in the outcome there so it's magnificent there's karma it's good dharma it's also the first card for your future so you know she's literally in this card as an intuitive walker uh reader uh eight of cups is walking straight to that sun okay and that would be the wheel of fortune the good wheel of fortune is coming for you and literally it's right there and there it is to clarify straight under the deck it's your success when you get there which is beautiful because you protect your energy and you're protecting your world when it comes in and it will come in but it comes in with spirit says it comes in okay it has been a very very sad time to the past there against somebody short sighted arrogant and temperamental but in that beats your own drum leading forward because it's only bringing you all towards exactly where you want to go. The past was a learning curve around their broken promises, lies or slander and the illusions of these moons here, but it was there for a reason. So you could have that abundance. See the moons, what we're doing now is past here. We're not trying to learn out why there's illusions here in the past. We can see that they're in regret. They will regret it when they see their fucking judgment for their manipulation of this fucker in the middle of it, but it was there so you can get your abundance. Okay. And that's why it's a learning curve underneath that release any burdens leading forward. Okay. Um, it did come out in the underlining energies okay when i was going through the reading so we've got release over here as you plan for your future so somebody put a lot of this card also means putting a lot of baggage in somebody's life okay so there's somebody put a lot of baggage in the life you didn't need okay and just release it it doesn't deserve to sit up there and play in your mindset you have a ten of cups ten of pentacles coming because in between that i've got these direct love which is beautiful okay and but it didn't come easy man okay it hasn't come easy whatever is coming into your world it's 
It's come because you've put a lot of hard work and a lot of effort into yourself. And when that 10 of cups comes in, it goes the distance. See, a lot of effort. Somebody comes in finally for the ace to go to the ground to bring this, the ace plus the eight to bring your hopes into fruition with the connection or whatever it is that you want that's abundant. I'll do the pass quickly. All right, ships are sailing in, but they were vindictive and abusive. Okay, they were very, very, very deceptive considering it's the first fucking cards for the overlining, underlining energies. Uh, very, very deceptive, very, very massive amounts of vindictive abuse because there's that same card and there's you being divinely guided away from it as their massive amounts of illusion, wasn't it? Yeah, spirit's seen the whole fucking thing. That's why they're receiving divine judgment then. Or oh, the devil was there too. Uh, whatever friends, family, or lovings uh, put these illusions or manipulation into your life that made you sad. Uh, it was only fair to release that. Okay, protect your energy, protect your world with this from this three of cups. Okay, they are in regret. Okay, whatever lover that was that broke that heart, friends, family, or lovers. And the best part about it is you're going to protect your world from the past, let alone and protect your memories from the past leading forward because you know they're only leading you towards protecting your energy and your world from vindictive people you can't grow with. But also know that the love's coming into the future when you can get that protection where it comes in to grow. They were very, very, very deceptive in their energy and very, very abusive. There's a tower moment that had to come around because of their abuse. Okay, but you're a divine soul and shouldn't have to go through their manipulation because the next card is coupled with the devil. Yeah, you know your worth. It led you towards your stability. Um, they, were, they could have been manipulating you against stability. It could have been a codependency thing. That could have been the hands here in itself. But whatever it is, that four, that four plus that ace of pentacles there gives a five of pentacles. So it shows that you had to heal alone. It shows that you were being ostracized, left out in the cold, hurt. Um, things in your life you didn't need, if that makes sense. Okay, same fucking cards are above it. Look, sadness, sadness, the tears have turned to ice. That's why I had to complete out the finish line. It is a time to celebrate for your abundance leading forward, knowing damn well spirits there and watching over you keep you safe. Um, and the balance is coming forward. That's the best part about this, right? Is this part, right? Yeah, ready? That ace of pentacles plus the two of pentacles gives the three of pentacles. But the best part about that is this is a card of balance. See? Balance in a different card, right? Now that ace plus the two gives the three of pentacles over here, where we have a balance in the heart three pentacles with balance in the heart but you had to grow through these things to understand you know who you are as a soul you know to learn and step through them you know yeah and look as i said to it the four plus the ace there gives the the four of pentacles plus the ace of pentacles gives the five of pentacles let me try to ostracize you that's the fucking hands try to ostracize you and leave you out that's why the hands have freed you which is the hand of spirit to step you towards it that's why they're receiving justice the past playing with your fucking energy your victory is a movement away from somebody very vindictive because the next card is you stepping away from them which finally yeah the divine blessing had to step away from that world in order to bring the world into your new world it's coupled with that card there unconditionally loving you are very very unconditionally loving just absolutely beautiful soul as you step toward there's some divine inspiration for you somebody trust what are you coupled with holy shit you're coupled with the same card are uh, the queen of swords which is you logic intelligence beautiful but it's also generally straight down to your fucking energy down to the energy of air as well in itself but in between the illusions because you see these cards go hand in hand these cards go hand in hand it gives the outcome trust 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 the divine inspiration trust the divine inspiration that there was illusions from the past and deceptions hidden agendas to somebody's personality look at the fucking hands on in the illusions yeah in itself but the best part, look at the snakes and ladders. See the snakes coming out. And so the divine blessing had the snakes in their life. That's why the ace of cups to the seven of cups had to go to the eight of cups to move away and heal. And see with the same cards there. You're giving and receiving somebody that didn't deserve it. You've got blessings coming, okay? They're coming. And they're for you. Because that card straight goes up. And now you can see the way the readings go. Straight up to the light here that's stepping you towards fruition of good things to come in. And the eight to the eight put strength. Massive amounts of strength. Stepping towards yourself as a soul massive amounts of strength okay to step towards that light and still be you to have your reflection where are you where are your reflection here your new beginning all right you have redemption our spirit knows your heart motives to be true that's why you get the death and rebirth leading towards the future because you are the phoenix that rises from its ashes see the nest a lot of depression in the past there where you had to rise didn't you in itself but the, the ending, the death, like this is going straight on judgment, man. We don't want to put bad shit out there, a negative attitude. But a long time ago, that meant actually death. It didn't just mean transformation. So it's going on judgment for somebody's illusions. But I'm just saying it. The judgment has been there so you can have your rebirth and somebody can finally be judged for the blue, bullshit they've put into your life so you can complete out the depression and have your sun to shine a new day. It's the most happiest and positive card ever. 
and somebody's put those illusions into your life because it's got to go on the nine of swords which is all the depression and worry that somebody put into your life that's receiving divine judgment for yeah they tried to fucking ostracize you leave you out in the cold and hurt you man look that's what they're receiving divine judgment for and that's why you get the redemption leading forward and shut the door did you you beautiful soul okay so just heal from this person from the past deception as the ship sail in and for the abundance it's magnificent because it's in your hopes yeah i know you're hoping for it. it's coming in and it's magnificent and your friends and family will see that abundance when it comes in and it will be happy and joyful when it comes in because it's success when it comes in but just a step towards yourself as a soul because you're manifesting at the present moment yeah you're manifesting so just release anything okay from the codependency and bullshit on from the past it was putting illusions and deceptions that you've been guided away from spirit seen see it's seen him trying to manipulate you. That's why the next card goes to the karma down here, but we've got to go to the abundance first. There's some divine enthusiasm. It's also the card in the outcome. You may be wanting to write or express yourself from it, but you're also locking your cups away. You're sitting on your fucking solar foundation, you beautiful soul. There, she's there. Trusting your intuition, leading forward. Spirit's really there. It's leading towards your abundance of the King of Pentacles. And there's clarity for you. It's truth. It's victory. Okay, underneath that, we've got that divine blessing, man. There might be also, you may be wanting to express yourself. Okay, look at this. I'll take these cards here thoroughly because whatever it is is leading to an abundant and big new beginning there. You may be wanting to express clarity and enthusiasm and expression, okay? So you can see that whatever broke your heart leading forward, you may be wanting to express yourself, write a book, poetry, express yourself, you know, in itself, just praying, you know, in itself as well. It's clarity there, man. Look, shum, 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 for somebody. There's definitely clarity into the mindset. It's definitely there, man. Each eye, one eye is truth and logic and truth, and one's eye is enthusiasm as you step forward. You're very, very faithful to spirit on the journey, and that's beautiful. It's twice, twice, twice in that faithfulness, and that's magnificent. Twice, twice, twice in that faithfulness, but it hasn't come easy. Okay, that's why you give and receive to the universe, and you shouldn't be manipulated by people from that, because the next card is release. Yeah, you got love coming, man. Get the get the right perspective because it brings us to this two of cups. So two of cups are the two of cups for a divine love. It's counteracting in a completely different way. But yeah, there's karma coming for somebody who was very vindictive and put illusions into your life because it's on the karma now for breaking your heart. But friends, family, or lovers, somebody teamed up to fucking hurt you. You've had to put so much work from the three to the three into into releasing this stuff from the past. It's not funny. That's clarity because that's the ace of swords, and I didn't even realize it when I was saying it. But the Ace of Swords is right under there with clarity as well. Yeah, friends, family, or lovers, man. Three of Cups, whatever that was. They won't like it what Spirit's got. They won't like it when they see your Ten of Pentacles and the outcomes with the deck. Yeah, they won't like it. It's the same fucking cards, man. They're in regret. Man, they don't like it. Friends, family, or lovers. They have to sit and stew now because you get the blessing leading forward. So put your boundaries in place. You've come through the Pillars of Hercules and they stabbed you in the back. Yeah, but it's for your growth into your world. So protect your energy leading forward. You've got an enthusiastic new beginning and they were overzealous thinking they could fuck around with your energy because you're the next card is the divine blessing in the world. Yeah, you've had clear amounts of introspection to yourself as a soul, you know, to address these things as stepping forward. Um, you have unconditional love, so you deserve the Ten of Cups, which is beautiful because there it is. And these are unforeseen in the reading. So the seed will grow into the ground with a Ten of Cups here. And it's as logic for somebody. And it grow, goes the distance with clear communication and it's flirtatiousness in itself. And it definitely goes the distance because the Ace then grows to perfection, if that makes sense, for the Ten of Cups for logic. And there's the Ten of Cups for logic in itself. Okay, but it didn't come easy. They did it. But that's your victory. Your victory is in your movement away from the manipulation of the devil and you can trust your divine guidance that way you fucking they really are receiving divine judgment for manipulation man yeah for the sadness there divine judgment next to the sadness somebody's receiving big time divine judgment that you've walked away from and that's even the karma on the fucking judgment that you've walked away from man and there's manipulation big time there you've had to walk on the journey because that's the last card technically for that part but there's, there's the fucking depression, man, that the fool, everybody's the fool on the journey, but this fucking idiot thought it'd be cool to put depression into your life. But you're so beautiful, it's not funny. They're so stupid, they miss the signs. Ah, uh, there is karma coming for that, because the justice is now going to go on the justice and see what's coming out with justice for the heart. Man, you've got temperance coming in for your hopes, but see all the illusions that somebody put into your life, the moon, somebody's seen, somebody in your past energy, or somebody, and you, somebody you've walked away from ended out complete to whatever it was to heal. There's a seeming karma for putting shit in your life you didn't need. All those moons and illusions of a temperance angel because it's in your heart and it leads to growth. 
And there's communication for somebody, a very, very strong energy through the conflict and fighting. But it gave you a level up towards the growth of this card. Yeah, to keep your eyes on. One way or another, the growth was there because of the learning curve around somebody's broken promises, lies, or slander. And that's why they're receiving justice and judgment. But it's for you to keep your eyes on. It's a learning curve for the soul to learn and continually learn and grow as you co-create with spirit. And for I say, is the co-create with spirit in that card and their spirit on top. Make sure um, it was a lesson as well. Double emphasis on the lesson for Earth Angel. Earth Angel. Growth is in your world, so protect it for the divine blessing. Divine blessing, love, heart, beautiful. It's also uh, a very, very beautiful, uh, very, very serendipity coming into your world that you want to protect yeah because your growth is fucking magnificent same card underneath protect your growth it's beautiful the divine blessing is you the ace of cups who's going to get the wish fulfillment which is beautiful because it's right under here the divine blessing gets the wish fulfillment in in that so beats your own drum you want wish fulfillment for the world and that's beautiful because now we're onto the temperance angel yeah they, whatever they did they stabbed you in the back deal with their fucking moons and illusions because the moon's sticking out there the, oh god the temperance angel seen everything so just be temperance at the present moment, that balance, perfect balance of masculine to feminine, and that's magnificent. But with the 10, it does show it's completed out it's for you to get wish fulfillment. So release any burdens. This person did put baggage on you with the 10 to the 10, but it's bringing you towards your page of pentacles, baby, and they will fucking regret it. They will regret it. They will regret all the illusions, same card. They will regret your that you've got a big, big time abundance. Trust your intuition that's coming in because it's leading to that 10 of pentacles and the outcome. We're gonna go back to the hermit here. Trust your introspection. Okay, then love's coming in, man. It's coming in with sheer determination too, by the way. Um, know your worth. It's a, the more you know, you already know your worth. I do, you can see that because the value is there, but it's in the outcome. Whatever stability is coming in, it's coming in with the 10 of pentacles and trust your intuition that's coming in and it's coming in with big time passion and it's an ace. So it's a blessing because you, in the outcome, in the center of the reading here, have completed things out to know your worth and that was your choice leading forward because well, that was illusions from the past energy. Okay, uh, it's leading towards that 10 of pentacles so you can be free within yourself to be bold, compassionate, strong, um, like build your queendom, your kingdom. Okay, and it does show it there for the archetype. Okay, from the queen to the ace there, it does show that, okay. Um, leading forward, okay, there is something missing. So definitely could definitely talk to somebody who's single. Okay, and the enthusiasm there was to complete it out, man. The best part about this, right? The best part about this card, right, is the ace of wands plus this shit. Here you even extended the olive branch to the past, didn't you? Still didn't want to fucking help you. And I'll two face, that's why I receive justice for playing on your heart because it's the last card before I turn this, before I turn this deck to see what's on there. But there is justice and you can trust your intuition for somebody who wants to play mind games up there and they have things that have been redirected down to the heart have balanced that heart out. Yeah, but there is karma coming and justice coming for that. And there has to be because it's right there, let alone that for that type of shit. At the end of the day, you should be free now from this type of crap. You're free from the psyche attacks, hollow victories, and all of that stuff to allow that branch there to now grow into that world, but you grow through their bullshit. It's the worst part about it, but the fucking best part about it is how strong you are to complete these things out with worlds of the worlds, making the right choices to step towards good karma and dharma that brings that light into the world. Now, the last card for the reading is for the empress, man. You're the empress. Yeah, your unconditional love, you're the empress in the past, and you're leading it towards the emperor into the future, which is beautiful. Okay, as you lock your cups away and sit on your foundation so you're not manipulated from anything you've walked away from in the past. So you know, here you walked away from in the past, leading forward, and that's your victory. But you're the empress. You come down with your morals and come down with your integrity. Last card. As the ships sail in with love for your emperor. Absolutely beautiful. I just did them with two different cards today just to show that it didn't matter how many cards I do, the cards will come out the exact same way that they are supposed to come out. I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day. Take care. God bless you. Beautiful. There is something magnificent coming for you. Have a lovely day. Take care.